Hello ladies and gentlemen, you're joining me, Rupu, for another beer review. And uh, today... <coughs> I've not even drunk anything, so I can't say that's a sign of a good beer. That's just me being rude, ladies and gentlemen. I do apologise. Today we are... Um, had a request, actually, from uh, one of my biggest and uh, probably one of my all-time loyalist fans. And uh, this shout out goes with a lot of meaning. And uh, this shout out goes to you, Aaron Chand. You've been one of my loyal subscribers. You've recommended me some decent beer. And not only that, but uh, yeah, I think generally you've got a good channel going on over there as well. So to Aaron in uh, Aaron Chand, that is in uh, Vancouver in Canada. I think that's where you're from. I know you're definitely Canadian, but I don't know if you're in Vancouver. Um, <laughs> Hints tell me that you are. So correct me if I'm wrong, Aaron, but uh, this goes out to anyone from Canada and uh, to Aaron Chand especially. So I got recommended this. It's uh, Pilsner Urquil, I think that's pronounced. Urquil. It's from the Czech Republic. Got to admit, I'm not a big lover of the Czech Republic beers because they all generally taste really, really extremely hoppy. And the reason for that is because the hops they use is the um, one of the best in the world evidently so I've been told um, I'm not too sure but uh, yeah it's one of the best in the world this then is a 500 mil I don't know if you can see that right on the back in big letters 500 mil 4.4 percent so again not a, not a strong beer but uh, Aaron has told me a few things about this beer and uh, I am now going to follow that up, hopefully. So my my duty here today is to provide you with one of the uh, accuratest reviews I can. Uh, okay, so doesn't really tell you a lot. Just says that it's by Miller Brands UK Limited. I have no idea who that is, and yet I am from the UK. So there you go. Um, yeah, it doesn't really say a lot. It just says, in 1842, the Citizens Brewery of Plesnen brewed the world's first golden pilsner and never stopped. We make it in the same way, in the same place, with 100% of our ingredients from the same farming regions in Czech, as always. Big respect to them, then, if that's the case. Uh, they obviously use the same sauce, same ingredients, and probably there's no shit in this either. It's probably generally a natural beer. So, again, ticks many boxes if you can do that, in my eyes. That is, that's in my opinion, by the way. So, yeah, Aaron, uh, looking forward to this. I've tried this oh, a very, very long time ago. You're probably talking about... Boy, now, we're in 2016, so it must have been around about 2007 I first tried this, roughly. So, a very long time ago. My taste buds have changed dramatically, but you requested it, and I'm going to honour it, Aaron. So, thank you. Um, there's a cap there for any enthusiasts or cap collectors alike. It's, uh, I don't know what that is. It's like, I don't know, some building or some drawbridge. I have no idea. That probably has some significant meaning, but I don't know. Quite decorative, though. I quite like that. Different. It's different. Right, so the beer in question. I'm going to bring it on in. There you go, massive head. I poured that deliberately um, to get the head on it. Just wanted to really see what the head could do because Pilsners have a generally lower head. Um, but yeah, I, I think I've done well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna big myself up for that one. The color is, I wouldn't say typical of a Pilsner, but actually it's as clear as a Pilsner could be. So I'm very impressed by the way that the, the clearness of this. I mean, you can even see my own reflection behind the glass. That's how clean it is and how clear it is. So, yeah, very good. The head uh, tight bubbled. Big. Good carbonation. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite impressed. And as you know, and Aaron knows me very well, um, from what he's seen on my channels anyway, he I don't know him personally, very anyway. But uh, Aaron obviously knows me very well from my channel. He knows that I do like the odd pills in here and there, so big respect to you, Aaron. Um, 
Yeah, I'm looking forward to this actually. It's been a long, long time, a very long time. We'll start with the smells as always, and then we, we kind of go into the, uh, the taste, as it were. <laughs> Before I start, I just know this is going to be extremely poppy on the smell. Probably only taste too, but, but we'll get there. That, that's my prediction. Okay, so not as bad as I thought. It's very um, florally. <laughs> Floral smells, fresh smells. Easy on the on the nose. Um, a slight bit of hop coming through there. I wouldn't say that's massive. But you get a little teaser, and uh, I kind of like that. It doesn't give too much away about the beer, um, but what they are doing there is uh, wait. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I just had hair in my beer. Yeah, you don't you don't want hairs in beers. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the last one. Um, but what it does is it gives it that little teaser, that little taster session before you actually drink the beer. So nicely played by the Czechs. Uh, I'm just going to drink this way because I've got more of a, a leaning head this way. So you can see there that the head is leaning more towards this side. So it's kind of up rather than that side. Just the way I poured it, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm going to start with that side because I like to get the head first, then the flavour second after taste is final. Cheers, Aaron, and uh, I hope you are enjoying this with me. Sorry, just had a mid call there, someone decided to call me. That's the old ball and chain. I'm not married yet. Do apologise, she keeps finding me. Um, fluffy head, creamy head. You then get um, the head rushes through with you all the way. You then get a, a sense of, I don't know, watery calmness. Borderline watery. But you get a hop, it's a hop, um, hop taste all the way through, and then you get this sort of bitterness at the end. Um, the hoppy, the hop taste is, is a little bit sweet, a little tiny bit sweet. But you then get a, a very dry finish, and um, again, bittersweet, it kind of works well. Is it refreshing? I wouldn't go as far as it's refreshing, but it's definitely not bad. I mean, Couple of miracles. It's almost like a aromatic taste. Yeah, that's clever, isn't it? I'm trying to pour the remainder with the fucking cap on. <laughs> Point to the douchebag. Yeah, it's, it's almost got like an aromatic taste. Um, I don't know if that's uh, floral or... I think it's that Sars hops that's coming through, or Saz, however you pronounce it. Um, it's that hoppy taste that comes through. There's a nice backbone of flavour. The body's nice and light. I'd say it's quite crisp in places. <coughs> there you go, if I burp is a sign of good beer. <coughs> crisp in places. Um, somewhat rich <laughs> in flavour that is yeah 
here. When you ignore the sars hops coming through and that bitterness at the end, it is generally quite a light beer, so it ticks the boxes for a pilsner. It leaves you with an aftertaste of bitterness, hops, um, and not much else. Yeah, arguably, I could kind of get on board with this. I mean, again, I'm not a fan of the hoppy beer, but what I am a fan of, as Aaron knows, is, is pilsners. Um, there you go, there's the, the lacy. Very, very good lacy. Yeah, not a bad beer, actually. I think generally there can be some improvements to it. Um, for me, I don't really like the hoppy beer. I like the watery inner pilsner this is, by my mind, not in general, but as a pilsner, I prefer the watery type of pilsner. This isn't a watery type of pilsner. However, it is a flavoursome pilsner. Um, I've had better pilsners in my time, don't get me wrong. Uh, no offence, Aaron, but... Uh, yeah, I can understand why you've suggested this to me, actually. I could get on board with this quite easily. Yeah, nice beer, Aaron. Um, what would I rate it? I'd probably rate this at least a 7.5 out of 10. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Um, yeah, it's not a bad beer. It's complex flavour. Very basic flavours, but they complement each other very well. Base and aftertaste, very good. Uh, flavours, very good. So, yeah, arguably, not a bad beer, actually. Uh, I could drink this a little bit more than I, than I usually do. So, there you go. Uh, a nice beer, then, that Aaron's recommended. So, thank you, Aaron, for the... Uh, request so ladies and gentlemen there you go it's, uh, it's uh, a good all round beer then pilsner as it were come in with your suggestions comments likes and subscribe to my channel <coughs> if I burp it's a sign of a good beer and uh, don't forget to join my facebook page if any of you are on facebook which is at ruku's beer which is r-u-k-u and then little hyphen s the apostrophe as it were yes. uh, come and join me on Facebook I always uh, take pictures of some of the beers that I try before uploading them give you news etc and gossip but if you're happy just to remain on my YouTube channel then that's great I'll look forward to doing the next beer review comment and suggestions by anyone out there that uh, wants any beers reviewing so uh, I'm going to now wrap it up by saying thanks Aaron and uh, much love to Canada and uh, God bless you all in Canada and uh, join me next time for another beer review. Thank you for watching.